we're recording, we're ready. Did I just define it in the most succinct way? Like When your subject matter is drawing from your own life, the audience then is able to build a relationship with you. I think one of the hardest things to do as an emerging creator is to figure out what your artist statement is. And all an artist statement is is kind of explaining what the purpose is behind your creativity, why you do what you do, and also letting people know where you're trying to go. This can be something that's really good to have down on paper because then it can really translate well to an introductory video or reel. So that way people have a focus to understand who you are. So I'm excited to help each of them because they've all been in the creative space for a few years and by this point it'll be good for them to actually know their artist statement and implement it in some way so they can start asking for bigger budgets and getting better creative projects. So for each of you now, I want to start to kind of get you thinking about what your purpose is behind your content and some things to think about because that will also really help how you tell a unique story ideally within this 60 second sphere of a project. And that also really makes it a lot easier to figure out which brands you might actually want to partner with that could be good. Don't get me wrong, we all want free stuff from time to time, but really trying to find when you and a brand actually can truly collab together can be really important. So right now, maybe take out your phones, I guess. Start to just write down some words in a notes app or whatever you have. Write down words that you feel like describe who you are. Start off there because the first thing that you always want to include is your artist statement. But figuring this out I think is really important because it gives brands a snapshot of who you are. For example, mine is here. I'm a digital storyteller video producer based in Texas. I think including a location can be pretty good because it, it gives them a clue into your perspective and also your potential audience as well. With my camera, I document and explore the complexity of the human experience and the multitude of identities we each can hold simultaneously. Then put what you're best known for. If you are, no matter your size or following, there must be a reason why you have that following that you have, even if you are smaller. And usually you can figure that out from the comments section of your videos. People saying, I really enjoyed this, I felt seen, I really liked this because it was funny. Like whether it's comedy, whether it's information, whatever it is, put that in your artist statement as well. Um, and then if you want to use some vernacular, go for it. The other thing I always mention with an artist statement too is say where you're at, but also say where you want to go as well. So at the bottom, you notice I put, but also I experiment with other film genres, such as scripted narrative, music, and comedies. And I think this is something that y'all should all start to think about as you go throughout this week, because having a strong artist statement, at least in your mind, is also going to help you with your projects so you can think about what you're filming. So often when we start creating, we are just, we pick up a camera, we just start sharing with the world and we hope people who care will see us. And not often are we asked to say, why do you do this? What do you stand for? What are you trying to create? Who are you trying to impact? It's gonna be a scary thing to do by yourself and you can avoid it a little bit because it's a little scary. So to have that kind of experience in a safe space felt yeah. really nice. To have Halise to like workshop it with and each other, that was so instrumental in the entire week because from that mission statement, I was able to build out my video. We're over here trying to figure out what each of the mentees' videos should be in terms of what is the script, what is their personal brand, and and I think one of the best ways to do that is just personal connection. So we're, we're, literally, we're digging pretty deep. So at the moment, we're kind of doing a one-on-one -on -one console. It, it, it's packaging. Yeah. And like, we can still keep the style, mm -hmm. but we could kind of give it a little help. The artist statement thing, I feel like I sort of avoided because... Yeah. Like whenever writing about yourself, you're just like... Um... Through this process of having to review all of my work, kind of like, made me realize like what my style is and how I can continue like showing that with all the tips they gave us. Mm -hmm.